Okay, hello, my name is Susan Apple and welcome to my Texas kitchen. And today I'm making some cookies for Valentine's Day. So I wanted to share with you my favorite recipe and some tips. So growing up in Louisiana, we made these cookies all the time. And we would just have like these weeks of marathon um, cookie baking and decorating. And so my favorite recipe, which cannot really be improved, is from the cook store of Shreveport. And you can find this on eBay. I went and looked at it today. And this is the uh, recipe. It's right here on page 276. It's the plain rollout cookies. And it's just so good. And I will tell you the reason I think, one reason, it has lemon juice in it. And that just that one little bit I think helps. Also, it has all-purpose flour that is sifted four times. So this was like a big deal growing up, but this is one of my favorite sifters. And so I get two bowls and set them out and I'll measure in the three and a half cups of flour and do the little sifting. I won't go through all of it right now, but I sift it all. Then I put my sifter over here, you know, and pour this back in. Anyway, and it continues like that and you sift it out four times and then you mix it all up. It's just amazing. Okay, so another thing you want to do is use unsalted butter and room temperature, and that's real important too, okay? And a little gadget here I have is this little oven thermometer, and you hook it on the rack, and it checks how hot your oven is, which is really important, because sometimes our ovens can be off. In fact, my oven was off by 75 degrees. <laughs> so then I adjusted it, turning it up, okay? So that's important. And then I just like to collect cookie cutters. So there's a big, you know, different choices there. Okay, so when I make my cookie dough, I wrap it up in parchment paper like this and chill it. And I can chill it a couple of hours or overnight. I used to like to make it the day before. Okay, so then I get it out of the refrigerator. And if it's too cold, it'll crack. So you have to get it kind of just right um, so you'll, you'll figure it out. If it starts cracking when you're rolling it out, it's too cold to cook it a little bit. Okay, so you just put a little bit of flour right here on your silicone baking mat. These are pretty important. And so for, for you to know the recipe, this is half of the recipe. So I usually break off a little bit of this, okay? And I put about that much down. It's probably about two thirds of half. Okay, so then I have my rolling pin that's lightly floured and then I can start rolling it out. You can just see, it's just super easy to roll out. And if it starts sticking on the rolling pin, I just need to add a little bit more flour. But like I said, not too much. So I'll put it kind of over here on the side and then keep rolling out. And you want to get this to kind of like a rectangular shape, which is very easy. And you want to roll it out so it's all about the same thickness. Okay. And it's just about there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this I'm gonna go with this little cookie cutter. And you wanna use the same cookie cutter on the one batch, because if you have different sizes, some will burn, and then some won't be cooked enough. So you just use the same one. And you wanna leave a little bit of space in between, but not too much, because you can roll out the dough again, but probably once. If you roll it out too much, it gets tough. Okay, so then I use this little, this is my favorite little, offset spatula and I remove the excess cookie dough which is really easy it just comes right away and these are really so good they're very light and airy and they have a great flavor they have vanilla in them and in the next video I'll show you how to ice them okay so my oven is preheating to 350 degrees and these are going to bake about eight minutes I would check them after eight minutes you don't want to want them to brown. Okay, so there you go. That's it. And then I like these little insulated cookie sheets. And I like to have a lot of them because you don't want to have, you don't ever want to put these on a, like a hot cookie sheet. You know, you want to make sure it's cool. That's about it. And these go in the oven. Okay, so thanks for joining me. And I would love to know what your favorite Valentine cookies are. Let me know, or if you're looking for a recipe. And if you like this, please give me a like. And also subscribe to my channel. I'm just getting it started and that would be great. And thanks for joining me at my Texas kitchen. Have a great day.